guys, this is Sander for JK25 Gaming, and today we're going to be playing Kingdoms of Amalur. Cutscene beginning, thing. Let's watch. More. And only now, well into the second decade of the conflict, have we begun to understand the mistakes we have made. We lived in harmony among the Fae, in a world awakened to new magic. Perhaps we should have foreseen what might be born on this rising tide. What force might awaken. A force powerful enough to twist even the eternal and immutable faithful. <laughs> But Gadflo, the new king of the Winter Court, surprised us all. Singular. Gadflo? He was all that other Fae were not. What kind of name is that? Is he a Gadflo's goblin? Visionary. He had power like none we had ever seen. Yes, it is the almighty Gadflo. We're going playing Legend of Dragoon again. Ouch. Gadflo and his followers, the Tuatha Deon. Believed that a new Gadflo and the Tuatha beneath Gadflo's crystalline fortress of Amethyn. In the name of that god, they marched to war against the young races of Amalur. Against a mortal army, no matter the power of their god, we might have been victorious. But the Fey are creatures of magic, not bound by the laws of life and death. Such two as are fallen on the battlefield would soon rise again, for the Fae do not know death as we do. How could we stand against such a force? For ten years the war raged, for ten years the armies of men and Alpha fought and died. But as our numbers dwindled, we knew that it was only a matter of time. Our fate had been written, at least that is what we believed, until you died. Is that me? What? Perfect timing. Okay. What do you think this one is then? Alpha? Lorani? Could even be a Jotun? Always a surprise, eh, Garan? Eyes on the job, boy. Don't matter what it is. Dead's dead. And be yeah, careful dead's that. dead. All we've seen. Go on and pull that machine, though. It'll need to be in our report, one way or the other. Character creation. Cool. The Almain, or the Almain. The Almain are a warlike and religious nation of a storied origin. Many Almain come from the Feyland, seeking freedom while honoring the traditions of their homeland. Racial bonuses include blacksmithing plus two, alchemy one, and persuasion one. The Varani. Hardened by the high seas, the Varani are just as frequently pirates and mercenaries as they are shrewd merchants. They favor swords and daggers as seaworthy weapons. Plus two lock picking, plus one detect hidden, plus one mercantile, and that's it. Next race is one that's hard to pronounce the Lajolsulfar. The Lajolsulfar are a proud and ancient people from the frozen lands of the north. The Lajolsulfar judge themselves fit to divine right from wrong under wind, sun, and sky and meat and even-handed justice. Meat? Alchemy 1, Sagecraft 1, Dispelling 2. Dokulfar, otherwise known as Darks. Dokulfar are renowned as sophisticated students of magic and diplomacy. While they do not shy from conflict, they prefer to resolve disputes subtly and with grace or efficiently in silence. 
plus two stealth, plus one sagecraft, and plus one persuasion. I don't quite... I'm not going to do blacksmithing, like, period, at all. Because I don't want to ruin the game. Hmm. I might make a Varani. Yeah, let's do Varani. Oh, wait. Boy or girl. Hmm. It's got really big hands. Um... I'll just make a boy. Uh, this thing. Fire, water, war, death, mischief. Let's see. Fire, it's fire damage and resistance. Ice damage and resistance. Physical damage plus armor. That's cool. Hands to hit crit. Poison. That's terribly dumb. None. Experience bonus. All seeing as how that won't come in handy once we're the cap, there's no reason to do that. So let's pick war. Theoden, God of War, Battle and Tactics. That's our patron, apparently. Presets. Hi. Let's just go with uh, Olaf here. Let's make him look tough. That's really pink. I think that'll do. Eye color. I'm not really seeing much of a change. Let's go for green. I don't know, that's cool. Eye shadow color. I don't think I want my giant Norse man to have eye shadow. Thanks. Stubble. Oh, well, he's got a full beard, so I don't think I gotta do that. Hairstyle. Let's go to the beginning and look through. Um. Berries and cream. Ugh. Justin Bieber. And, uh, Simon Gotch. I don't quite know. So that's, that's okay. It's like a Caesar kind of deal. Like a Roman dude. Underground dubstep artist. Raider. That's pretty cool. Like the top knot. Um, that could work. That's okay. Ooh, that looks really cool. Kind of makes him look young, though. I think I might go for one of these short ones. Garden Rose. That's weird. This one puts a crown-like thing on your head, so that's very strange. Um, I like this one. That's pretty cool. If we go for, like, a tame facial hair. Whoa, look at that jaw. Very jutting. That's pretty cool. I don't know what that was. Um, maybe brown? Brown hair? Yeah, it's even brown hair and a red beard like me. Let's see. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Eyebrow color. Hopefully the same as his eye color. Not eye color. <laughs> Same as his hair color. I think that looks cool, man. He looks really masculine. Uh, accessories, jewelry. Oh, yeah, you know. Let's give Olaf a eye ring. Make him look real hip. I don't think I want to go with any of those. Maybe the nose ring, like a bull type thing, might have been cool, but I don't know. Markings. Hmm, that looks pretty cool. I want to go for, like, symmetry, though. Nothing too tribal. No, I don't think I'm going to do the face tattoo this time. Not feeling Samoan today. And that's about it. He looks pretty tough, man. I don't know about the hair color, though. Maybe... Oh. I like that one more, I think. Why not? Let's go with that. It looks cool. Ferrani. Must have been a mercenary. Come to fight in the war. Wait. Did I skip the part where I named myself? I think I did. <laughs> Let's hope not. Make sure it goes into the report. You 
know he'll want all the details. Amazing how well this game really does look like a bad MMO, though. Like I WoW or something. I'm just glad it's not moving. Must have been born under a lucky star, this one. Anything else we need? Unless you'd like to name him, I think we're done. Yeah, there we go. Okay. <laughs> I wonder what we're gonna name ourselves. Stig Stigander. <laughs> Switch it up a little bit. Make it be Sander. Well, that's it for you then. Better luck next time. Bye bye. Wake up, Stigander. You know, I don't think I touched the graphic settings now that I think of it. Oh, that would be a terrible place to wake up. True terror on my face. That looks like an experience. Doing okay there, Sandinder, Sandigner. Oh, I should have been Stigan, Stigander. Oh, looks like we're transitioning to gameplay. A few things. Camera is good. Nice. Um. Okay. Shader complexity. I don't know if that's all the graphic options. I highly doubt it, but I might have to do that in the next video. I can't even change the resolution. Okay, that's fine. Camera is kind of... Not sensitive, but I'll, I'll bear for now. Hey, roll is with B. That's very familiar. A note! Secrecy is still important in our work. Requiring specialized disposal... Waste, this should make this puzzle. Early fitting or should for the original bodies in the first place. Formerous Hugues. Sure, I'll take it. A lever! Let's do this for no apparent reason. Nice. Aha! Loot rusty sword! I'll take it. Now I got a weapon. Oh, you attack with X. Uh, you must defeat the Tuatha! Oh, was I supposed to watch that? Oh, he killed it in the gnome! Uh, hey, boxes. Let's break them. Can you roll through them? That'd be cool. Rat! How do you lock on? Do you lock on? Can you lock on? The auto lock on? Okay. That works. Oh no! Run away! Oh no. Barrels! Better break everything we can to get that gold. Pretty sure I start out with really dumb game breaking items. Because I got the DLC or whatever. I ain't using it. I'll sell it. Probably use the gold. Help anybody. I'm coming. Hold on. Don't you worry. You, Don't worry. Yeah, help yeah it is a gnome. Please. Nice. Hold on, man. Do you really not lock on? Oh, the awesome battle theme. It sounded like someone was humming it. Yeah, riveting combat. Worn leggings. 
That make me feel bad for being new. Don't talk to me yet, man. I gotta loot stuff. You hadn't come along. I would have been one more dead gnome among millions. On the slab, you, you were dead. It worked. Yes, I was quite dead. By the tome, by the maker. Let's see. It's probably like Mass Effect in every other game, so up is being nice, down is being rude. Let's be nice. What happened to me? You died. I don't know how or even where, but your body was remade in the Well of Souls, and somehow it worked. The well yeah, well, I mean, here I am, man. To your body. <coughs> I mean, here I am, man. We must get you to Professor Hughes right man, I look so manly. Who are these attackers? They are the Tuatha Deod, the enemies of all the young. The Tuatha Deod. I can tell this is going to be a lot of fun. I don't know why they are here. Hughes may have the answer to that as well. Hughes. I knew it was Hughes. I was just joking around. Come on. Who is Hughes? The Well of Souls is his life's work. The Tuatha are coming into the lower levels. If we hurry, we should be able to beat them to the top. Take these. You should be able to beat them now. Now let's get going. Let's. He'll be in his study on the ground floor. Just said that. Okay. Let me get this Goodbye. Let me loot. Oh, that poor gnome died. Batted armor. I think that's the leather stuff, though, or medium, whatever you call it. Uh, let's look around. It's like Fantasy Star. Yeah, it looks like it is if you time your attacks are stronger. Old boots. Old boots, worn leggings, battered chest piece. Makes me feel good. This game has a bad case of rescue ranger syndrome. I hear a lot of western RPGs suffer from that. Rescue Ranger Syndrome is when you have really big feet, hands, and your shoulder pads reach the heavens. Like the humans in Terra, but that's not Western. But that's a good example of what Rescue, Rescue Ranger's Syndrome looks like. Uh-oh! Oh no! There's no way they made it out in time. Why is my body the only thing shaking? <laughs> I love this game. Whoops. There's that Dragon's Dogma controls, I think. My bad. Where's my daggers? Whoa! I wonder if that could have hurt me. There we go, flimsy greaves. Flimsy, worthless, might as well not even put it on greaves, is what they should be called. There we go, part to the plate set. That's what I'm gonna be wearing, because I am melee man. What do we got? Torn gloves, battered face. Potions, lockpicks, ooh, what's that? I ready to do some CQC, look at that! <laughs> Weapon rack. What do we got? Crude iron kite shield. Is that, a, is that armor? Yes, it is. Whoa. Kind of comes out of nowhere. Do you hear something? How do I use that? Ha! That's the CQC button. <laughs> okay. Uh, anything else? Camera swings. I gotta work on that. Whoa! Oh, they blew it open! The Tuatha! Do I have a skill? Ooh! Ooh, roll, boy! I don't know if I have any skills yet.
A long bow. I bet the archery in this game could be pretty cool, given the chance. Not as good as Dragon's Dogma, but hey. You know how Capcom likes their archery. Break this, I can't. Nice. Can I assassinate these men? Can I do that? Yes, I can. Boom. And boom. He's got pretty fast reflexes, that guy. Don't tell me what to do, I don't take orders from gnomes. Alright, I, I discriminate. I'll put the longbow on as a secondary, because I kind of forgot you could do that. Ooh, yeah, get that box. Wonder if there'll be a sequel to this. Unless Reckoning is the sequel and no one knew about the one before Reckoning. Like Ricky. Nice. What do we got? Lockpicks, tattered documents, and gold coins. Tattered documents, probably junk item or something. Dead gnome. Sad. Yeah, yeah. Ooh! Got him, man. Got him. What'd you drop? Rusty leg plates. That's what I'm talking about. Gotta throw the rust in there. Who wants worn or ragged when you can have rusted? There's my daggers. I actually found them. <laughs> okay. Uh, crude iron daggers. Crude, rusty, worn, ragged iron daggers. Hey, rusty gauntlets. What would I what would I be without my rusty gauntlets? Pretty sure there's a hide helmet option in this game, which is like a godsend. Can't I sneak or like can't I sneak about? If you can sneak up on them with your daggers, you should be able to How do I sneak? Will you explain? How do I sneak? Aha! Right bumper. Why wouldn't I have guessed that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 641? Yo. Dented. Dented what? Dented Queerus. Check that out, man. That is nice. I don't think you get the helmet in here, though. Might be able to snipe these guys. What? Why didn't- Oh, I guess those guys were- at The beginning were made to die in one hit. I'll still- Yeah, yeah. Can still do this. Ooh, that's fine. It's fine. Why are my arrows coming back? There they are. That's terribly weak. Let's get them with our daggers. Nice lockpick. Let's switch back to my sword. Yeah. I don't like the staff part. They, like, make you use it. I'm gonna not talk about parts of the game that didn't happen yet. I'm not gonna be Steven. A desk. With a note. Hug H. Per request, blah blah blah, Claude, and Vita. Blah blah. While overseeing the spider purse. Purge, not purse, no spider purse. I noticed that those guardians gave blah blah suggest a possible blah. As such, I request that we blah some spiders, blah blah. Please reassign me off of subject disposal detail. <laughs> detail. Grand. Okay, we'll just take that. Could use that. The voices in my head are telling me that I have five minutes left. Torn robes, I don't need that. I'm gonna finish up the tutorial before anything. Whoa, man. All places coming down around our ears. A chest. Worn hand wraps. Those are for the mage man. If, you're, if you decide to be mage boy. Or mage girl. Spoder! Oh, all of a sudden I can cast a lightning bolt. 
Okay, hold down. Whoa! Whoa! Hold down R trigger to activate skills. You really only get four slots? I don't know about that. Huh. Pretty sure you have more than that on a keyboard. There's gotta be something up with that. Anyways. Crude Birch staff. Nice staff, Birch. Should have said that as my secondary, so I'm gonna switch back again. Dude, shut up! Getting all excited, they're just spiders. Easy. Let me open this mushroom. That's not a mushroom, that's a spider sack. Uh, I gotta burn this now, too. Yeah. Oh. Spiders! Okay, let's sneak up on him while he sees me. Don't hit me, spider. Stop. Stop. You were raised better than that. Don't tell me what to do, gnome. What do we got? Lock picks and minor healing potions. I'll be there in a bit. Yeah. Got a event that I need to see with Brother Fi. Hello there, other gnomes. I'm not. A, I'm not a too off the B word. I am going to destroy all your supply boxes, though. Sorry, I, I kind of need this stuff for myself. I'm not going to sit here for the rest of the game. This has a lot of loot. You can sell all of this. Probably not for a lot, but hey. I'll get you going. Don't interrupt me, gnome. We might have a few things that would fit you. Just make sure you get to choose. I don't think anything you have would fit me, gnome. <laughs> Five percent, let's do it. I need more help! Ah. Well, do that then, man. Do it to your best, the best of your ability. Uh, see you, man. Mana potions, those are actually useful, because it seems like... Every skill you use uses mana, so I'll probably hang on to those. This guy looks kind of funny. It's very small, but looks tough. Like, oh god, that came out wrong. Look at how small that sword is. Like for a gnome. Looks pretty beefy. I don't think you got the rusted helmet during that tutorial, do you? That's fine. Oh, rubble flying everywhere. Anything? Yes. A book! Nice, I will put that on my bookshelf. Excuse me for not caring too much about the lore. I probably will go back and read those things in a different time. Right now I just kind of got to hurry. Laboratory! Cutscene. What do we got here? You've made it, and look at you. Hello there, Hughes. To Arthur, your return from the dead. Please forgive me. You must be terribly confused. I didn't sound good. This. I am Fomorous Hughes, and this is my laboratory at Alistar. Everything you see here is dedicated to one thing: the Well of Souls. The pursuit of immortality. And you, you're my first success. If we only had the time, there's so much we might learn from one another. Uh huh. What's going on? To explain right now, the Tawatha have come to stop my work, but I don't believe they know about you. Not yet. What's important is getting you out of here safely. You're the only proof of what we've achieved here. I may not be able to save the well. Is that the only thing I'm good for? Oh uh, no. I'm your proof. Uh, let's get out of here. Yes, 
Yes, you're right. I, I've got my notes, but it's most important that you stay safe. It's just that you... You're... Fascinating. What, dude? Simply no. astounding. I'm not certain what's caused it, but somehow... Yes, as I was saying, I'm not sure what... Perhaps I should go see. Sir, sir, Mr. Hughes, the dwarf have reached the lab. That inside the... Oh. He's dead, leave him. We've got to get you out of here now, quickly. Okay, man, I'm going, man. Follow the I totally Follow couldn't the take them. Find Aga. He's a friend, or he may be able to help. No matter what else. Sounds like a really alive. nasty place. Okay, okay. Don't even, dude. Come on. Whoa. What? Bad. Why doesn't he run too, though? All right, I'm going. Uh, I'll look at this door and it'll open. Escape the Alistar Tower. There be men here. Hello, boy. Yeah, juggle them. What do you want? Wow, that's so strong. I'm probably gonna respect to get rid of that, though. I don't know. I might not want it. A chest. Does this have my helmet? More healing potions. Always welcome. Oh, I always said hotkeys. Hotkey item things. Uh, consumables. Map to radial. Very nice. Nice. Okay. Uh, and a potion. There. That'll do. Get that up. It's left trigger. Oh, the game pauses when you do it. Very nice. Good to know. Duly noted. Uh oh. Is that a Charles's? Or an Ogres's? We take out Rock Troll. Cool. We take out the ads first. Hey. Don't do it, man. You missed. Or rather, I, I dodged. You know what? Hey! That shouldn't have hit me. Resisted? That's not good. That's completely easy if it just pauses and uses it right there. It's really crazy. Yeah, stick it to him, man. Stick it to him. Whoa. Ooh! Got me pretty good. I kind of do the tracking thing like in Dark Souls. It's not good. Finish you off with that. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, I'm pressing A, pal. What the hell? Okay, there we go. Yeah! All those years of playing rhythm games paid off. What do you got for me, buddy? Squire's Ring. Cloudy Protection Shard. 65 Kerns. Minor Venom Guard. And a minor Healing Potion. Inventory limit's probably gonna really piss me off. Let's put that ring on. Uh, it's probably an accessories. So two. Five health. Cool. Very st oops. Oh, I'll put it in the other one. Very standard. We've made it out. I'd like to do more, but I have a place to be. That's it for this video, men. Cool men. If you liked it. Make sure to hit the like button to show that you liked it. Make sure to subscribe. Leave some feedback in the comments. We usually always get back to you. It'll be marked Sander or Heffy, according to who replied. And, um, I'll see you in part two. This is a lot of fun. <laughs>